Hello everyone, this is Yamin and in this tutorial I am going to show you how you can implement the forward your password or reset your password in your Laravel project. So first of all, let me just show you the demo. So currently I am in the login page and here you can see forget your password written here. So we'll just click on it. Then here we'll give our email address that we use for registration. So I use this email address and if I now click on the email password reset link, if I just click on it, here you can see it's loading and we have email due your password reset link so right now if i just go to my gmail and here you can see i receive a mail from laravel and if i just go inside here you can see reset password option or link here so if we just click on the button reset password it will take us over here and here we can set our new password so let's just keep a password and then the confirm password after that if i now click reset password it will just reset our password so using that new password we will be able to log in let me just show you click login and there you go so right now i am going to show you everything step by step how you can implement a forget password in your laravel project so first of all let's go and create a fresh laravel project so right now let's go to our folder and over here we'll go to new volume f and here we are going to create our laravel project so let's say over here common cmd so it will open a command prompt here let me just zoom in and let's go and create a fresh Laravel project. We are going to say here Laravel new. Let's say our project name will be Laravel email. You can say anything. Let's just press enter. So it will just create a Laravel project for us. So right now I'm just going to fast forward the video. So here you can see the project creation is complete and here you can see the project. So right now let's go and uh, go to our project directory. So we'll say over here CD Laravel email press enter so currently we are in the project directory so let's run our project we say php artisan serve and press enter so let's copy this and we'll go to our browser let me just close this on and uh, we'll just paste this here press enter so this is our sophisticated laravel project so first of all in order to implement a forget password we need to have a authentication system so we'll have the JSTEM authentication system so we'll run this command Composer record laravel slash jstin So right now let's go to our project directory again. So here you can see laravel email. Let's go inside Let's open another command prompt here uh, Let me just zoom in and here we'll paste this command composer record laravel slash jstin and press enter So it will install jstin in our laravel project. So right now we are just making the authentication for our project So I will again just fast forward the video. So this command is done. So after this command we need to run a uh, this command is version jstim install library so i'll just copy this then let's go to our command prompt again paste this here ps artisan jstim clone install library press enter so it will install library in our project i'll again just fast forward the video library installation is also done so after library installation we need to run uh, this three command npm install npm run bin and ps partition migrate so let's go and do it so here we're going to say npm install press enter then npm run build enter after that we'll just say here php artisan migrate so it will ask us would you like to create a database i haven't created any database so i'll just say here yes and press enter so it will create a database and then insert those table in our database table so right now, if we just refresh our project, we'll see the login and registration system here. So right now, let's go and just register a user. Let's just click register. And here, let's give a name. Let's say name will be Yamin. And let's give the email yamin shakil7 at the rate of gmail.com. And let's give the password 1234567.8. And confirm password 1234567.8. And then click register. And there you can see we are currently in the dashboard. So right now we'll implement the forget password in our project. So let's just log out from here. Click log out. Okay. So let's go to login. So we are in the login section. So uh, in order to implement the forget your password, we need to make some changes in our .env file. So let's just open our project using a code editor. I'm going to use Sublime Text. You can use Visual Studio. So I'll just click File, then open Folder, and our project toss Laravel Email. This on. Select it. So right now, we'll just directly go to our .env. 
and here in the dot env if you just go down here you can see smtp and here you can see mail host so, so the mail host will be smtp dot gmail dot com and we need to give a port number we we'll say port number will be 465 and here you need to give your email uh, which email you want to use to send a uh, forget password link to different users so i'll use this email address which is yahia yamin on at the rate of gmail.com and here we'll also copy this and we'll just paste the email address here as well for mail form address mail encryption it will be ssl and here you can see app name mail form name you can just choose a name anything you want we'll just keep this the way it is and here you can see mail password you do not uh, need to give your mail actual password so right now what we need to do is that we need to go to our mail section and make some changes so let's go to this mail so i'll just go to my browser and let's just go to our gmail i'll go to my gmail uh yeah 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 i mean on at the rate of gmail.com so currently i am logged in as yeah 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 i mean on at the rate of gmail.com so we'll just click on the main logo and here you can see manage your google account we'll just click on it and then it will take us to this page and on coming to this page on the left side you will see the security option we'll click on security and then it will take us here and if we just go down here you can see two-step verification so here under the two-step verification you should see app password but if you do not see the app password like just like me here you can see i cannot see any app password here so here uh, you just need to click on the two-step verification and make sure that your two-step verification is on so just click on the two-step verification then it will take you to this page here make sure your two-step verification is on okay so after this just come down and at the bottom you will see app password or application password you may see app password or application password so you need to click on this application password or app password then it will take you to this page so here you can choose mail calendar whatever but we are going to choose the other custom name so custom name will be website and then we'll just click over here create so it will create a custom password for us so here you can see a password here so we just need to copy this so i'll just copy this from here like this Control c and i need to click on complete so here you can see something is created called website and has been created okay do not delete this so after that whatever we just copied we just need to uh, go back to our code and here in the main password we are going to paste it and here you can see some space so we need to remove the spaces from here so i'll just select one by one to remove the space from here then let's just save this and after this what we'll do is we'll go to our config option here you can see config and inside config here you will see main.php so here in the main.php uh, we'll just go down uh, you will see form address mail address here instead of hello at hello at the rate of example.com we are going to say this yeah 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 i mean on at the rate of gmail.com paste this here and instead of example you can say here uh hello laravel it will show us as the mail name okay so we'll save this here and here and every time you edit anything for the mail make sure to run this command let me just show you which is php artisan config clone cache press enter okay configuration created successfully so after this we'll go back to our project let's just refresh here and let's click on the forget your password we logged in using the email yaminshakil7 at the top gmail.com let me just show you so uh, let me go to the sam this is my admin and here you can see my database laravel email if i just go inside and go to the user table uh, here you can see email address is yaminshakil7 at the top gmail.com so right now if we just try to use a different email address let's try with this one and click on email password reset link it will uh, say oops something went wrong 
we can find a user with that email address. So let's use our pop art email, which is this one, yaminshakil7 at that of gmail.com. And now click email password reset link. There you can see it's loading and we have emailed you your password reset link. So right now, if I just go to my mail and here you can see we received a mail. If I just go inside, here you can see reset password and the password will expire in 60 minutes. So if I now click on reset password, it will open our project here and we'll be able to reset our password. Let's just give a random password and click reset password. And there you can see password is resetted and here you can see your password has been reset. So right now we should be able to log in using our new password. Press enter and we are able to successfully log in. So this is how you can add the forget password functionality or reset password functionality in your Laravel project. So I hope this tutorial was useful to you. And if you want to learn how to verify user using email address when they are registering, then you can check out the video on the screen. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Make sure to subscribe. I really appreciate that. And I hope to see you in the future tutorials.